we're pleased to have another hold another press conference uh, today because of the events unfolding after the committee session of last Monday when our colleague who I hope will still be able to join us this morning uh, asked Pfizer a question and the answer <clears throat> was really what uh, made the news um, put in a nutshell the cat is out of the back it was a gigantic lie what they told us that uh, these vac vaccines would uh, prevent you catching this virus or would prevent transmission. Well, none of that was true, as it turns out. And based on that lie, uh, all of the mandates, all of the lockdowns, all of the non-pharmaceutical measures as wearing masks, staying at home, curfews, all of that was based on that gigantic lie. And yet, they will not acknowledge it. No, they just go ahead with whatever they want to do with us. I would like to point out a couple of things um, from the EU Commission's action plan, uh, EU response to COVID-19 preparing for autumn winter 2023. As you might have guessed, the focus of course is still on these hazardous mRNA injections. Well, that's not surprising here. Um, they would like to implement and coordinate effective communication initiatives and strategies to promote uptake of additional injections and complete the primary series of those who have not even begun yet, the unvaccinated. So once again, a particular group of a population is being targeted. And um, yeah, well, that's what they're trying to do. Um, they would like to increase vaccine uh, confidence by debunking myths and disinformation. Well, who is spreading the myths and the disinformation? It is EU Commission, it is the pharmaceutical companies, it is governments, especially in the Western democracies. They are the ones spreading the myths and the disinformation. They are the ones telling people lies. For what? So that pharmaceutical companies make profits and profits and profits. And the risks, well, guess what? You, the taxpayers, you will be left with the, the risks. Um, and then, of course, they want to target, and that they specifically say that, target hard-to-reach population groups. Well, I guess in that instance, they are actually talking about me. Yes, I am a hard-to-target, a hard-to-reach uh, a population group because I saw through their lies from the get-go. I'm still unvaccinated and I will remain unvaccinated. I will not inject a poisonous substance into my body, point blank. So go ahead and try to target me. Good luck with that. Then, of course, they go on with uh, the gaslighting, labeling vaccine hesitancy. This is what they call it as anti-Western and anti-EU. Can you believe this? So anyone who is not willing to let themselves be injected with this vaccine is anti-Western and anti-EU. No, ladies and gentlemen, let's be clear about this. If you do not want to poison your body, and it is your choice, to do with your body whatever you please. Remember, my body, my choice? That's their narrative, actually. Remember that. So, if you do not want to take that vaccine, that has nothing to do with being anti-Western or anti-EU. It is pro-people. That's what it is. And it is anti-globalist elites. That's what it is. And in this action plan, they refer several times to not only COVID-19, but now they slip in influenza. So this will be the next step uh, for their measures, whether it be uh, vaccinations or non-pharmaceutical interventions uh, like uh, wearing masks or staying at home curfews, then they will be able to do so when there is an influenza pandemic or wave. And whenever I think they could not possibly come up with yet another atrocity to inflict on people, they sure as heck prove me wrong.
The EU Commission proposes now the prioritized administration of the update injection for the vulnerable groups, and then they list who these vulnerable groups are. And they start by saying people aged 60 years and older, individuals with underlying conditions. No problem there. But then they list another group. And you really need to brace yourselves for that one. The vulnerable group among those who should be given priority to take this update vaccine are pregnant women. I have never heard anything more despicable than that. Because the point is this, they do not know what this vaccine does to the unborn child. They simply have no clue. And yet, now they're pushing it on pregnant people. And keep in mind, there has been a drop in birth rate. We don't know why that happened. You would expect the opposite of that. I mean, people were locked down. Remember what happened when they had a blackout in New York in the 70s? Nine months later, there were like babies left and right. But not this time. People were locked up for months in their homes. Nothing. Drop in birth rate? Interesting question. And these are the questions that we should be asking. So just to give you an update on that, they will continue to try. They will continue to push whatever uh, their end goal is. They are trying to. And um, yeah, I would just like to thank you for supporting us and for letting us know that we indeed are advocating and fighting for what you, the people, want. These globalists and their puppets are but a few people with no regard for you, for the people. We, on the other hand, are many because we are the people. And we will continue to fight for you, for your rights, for freedom, democracy, and the rule of law. Thank you very much.